Find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of f of x at the point corresponding to x equals 1. A function here, f of x equals x cubed plus 1 over the square root of x, we need to find the derivative of this so that we are able to find the slope of the tangent line when x equals 1. In order to find the derivative of this function, we will need to use the quotient rule as we have a variable expression being divided by another variable expression. And to make life easier, I'm going to express the square root of x as x to the one-half power. So now we can find, start finding our derivative, f prime of x equals, the quotient rule states that we will start with the denominator, x to the one-half power, and we will multiply that by the derivative of the numerator. From that, we will subtract the numerator and multiply that by the derivative of the denominator. And we will take all of that and divide it by the denominator squared. The next step that we will need to do is find the derivatives that the quotient rule gives us. This derivative and this one. So I will start writing again x to the one-half power the derivative of x cubed plus 1 is 3x squared, and we get that by using the power rule, minus x cubed plus 1. The derivative of x to the 1 half power is 1 half, and then we also have an x to the 1 half power in the denominator. All of that is over x to the one-half power squared. From the previous slide, we have that our derivative is now x to the one-half power times 3x squared minus x cubed plus 1 times 1 over 2 x to the one-half power all divided by x to the one-half power squared. And instantly I see this over here and realize that we have a fraction within a fraction. The best way to get rid of this, to make it simpler to work with, is to multiply the numerator and denominator of the big fraction by this denominator here. So we will multiply the top and bottom by 2 times x to the 1 half power. And when we distribute this to each term in the numerator, we can immediately multiply the 2 times the 1 and get 2. And we can multiply the x to the 1 half power times the x to the 1 half power and get x to the first power. So this times this x to the one-half gives us 2x. We're still multiplying that by 3x squared. And we're taking away, when you distribute this 2 to, times x to the one-half power to this term, that will cancel out with that denominator, thereby getting rid of that fraction. So we will be just subtracting x cubed plus 1. In the denominator of our fraction, the x squared, x to the 1 half power squared, times 2x to the 1 half power. This is x to the 1 half power, two of them being multiplied as denoted by the square. 
If we multiply another one, that will become x to the 1 half power cubed. And this 2 times this 1 is just 2. So we're left with a 2 times x to the 1 half power cubed in the denominator. Again, simplifying the numerator even more, when you multiply these two terms together, we get 6x cubed, and from that we are taking away x cubed minus 1, so you can think of distributing that negative 1 to both of those, all over 2 now I want to multiply these things together right here. These exponents, 1 half times 3 gives you x to the 3 halves power. And one more further simplification is that 6x cubed minus x cubed is 5x cubed. So here's our derivative. Now we have our final simplified derivative, f prime of x equals 5x cubed minus 1 over 2x to the 3 halves power. What we are asked to do is to find the equation of the tangent line at the point corresponding to x equals 1. If we find f prime of 1, that will give us the slope of the tangent line. So when we substitute 1 in for x into our derivative, we get 5 minus 1 over 2, which is 4 over 2, which leaves us with 2. <clears throat> the slope of our tangent line is 2. Normally, we could use the point-slope form of our linear equation to find the equation of the line. However, we are only given the x value of our function. In order to find the y-coordinate of our function, we need to go back and look at the original function, f of x equals x cubed plus 1 over the square root of x. And when we try to find the y-value corresponding to when x is 1, we just have to substitute in our x value in for x here, here, here. So f of 1 is 1 cubed plus 1 over the square root of 1, which just simplifies to 2. So now we have an x value, we have a y value, we can use the point-slope formula to find the equation of our tangent line. y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. Our x value is 1. Our y value is 2. So our y1 value is 2. And our slope is 2. So here's one answer for the tangent line to the graph corresponding to x equals 1. Or, if you solve this equation for y and distribute the two and combine like terms, you get the following equivalent equation. y equals 2 x. Either one of these answers is acceptable.